A busy bridge could be demolished after a study found it's obsolete. But the people who live around it say that study could not be more wrong. The Marion Bridge in Rocky River connects two busy thoroughfares that cut across the western suburbs and take you into the city, Clifton Road and Detroit Avenue. Without it, a lot of traffic will be winding through small side streets. News 5's Paul Kiska spoke with people who live on one of those side streets and joins us live from Rocky River. Paul, people there are pretty upset about this. Well, that's right, Lee and Frank. Although city leaders are stressing there are no imminent plans to take that bridge down, some residents are upset that it's even a possibility down the road. Rocky River's Marion Bridge connects the city and many downtown workers to the western suburbs and to Lakewood and Cleveland to the east. But now the city is considering demolishing the bridge built nearly 60 years ago. A firm hired by the city calls the bridge obsolete. These photos from the feasibility study show parts of the bridge and its ramps are in disrepair. However, the study also concluded removing the ramps would greatly increase traffic on nearby side streets that would be used as cut through. The study says Linda Street, for instance, which has a lot of foot traffic because of restaurants and homes, could see several thousand more vehicles per day if the bridge is taken down. It's just not a real good idea. Linda Street resident Tom Coughlin It's just going to be backed up. told me Linda Street would become gridlocked with extra traffic, especially when there are trains on the nearby tracks. The traffic, if it all gets diverted this way, people will be stuck on the railroad tracks. Sloan, another residential street with a school, would also become a cut through to Clifton Avenue, possibly creating even more backups. I just hate to see this street get any busier than it already is and I think it would really change the neighborhood quite a bit, so it's disappointing to hear. Sloan resident Tony Donahue told me, and I'd like to see the ramps stay open and just keep, maybe they need some updating, but just put the money into updating them. The city is currently asking residents for input on their website. City leaders told me nothing is imminent because they want to hear what residents have to say during public meetings. Now the study says if the ramps do come down, the area could be used as a park or extra parking lots for downtown Rocky River, which is in the need, it needs parking spaces. Live from Rocky River tonight, Paul Kiska, News 5.